Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. I'm sure you've seen the headlines. More than 11,000 scientists issue fresh warning. Earth faces a climate emergency. This headline coming from, I don't know, NBC, CBS, it doesn't matter. It's coming from The Guardian. Climate crisis. 11,000 scientists warn of untold suffering. It is bad. And they have a picture of a fire here. It's crazy. I'm getting scared. Al Jazeera even picking it up. Climate change. 11,000 scientists warn of untold suffering. The climate crisis has arrived and is accelerating faster than most scientists expected, signatories say. We'll get to that. Over 11,000 scientists warn of climate emergency, according to Fox News. CNN picking up on it. The left, the right... And even that, whatever. 11,000 scientists warn of untold suffering, and you'll be buried in snow. It's a ho-ho. Now, here's the paper, which isn't even a paper. Oxford Academic Bioscience. World scientists warning of a climate emergency. Now, all of the people that are talking about this on the internet that believe this nonsense are talking about this as if it was a study, as if it was an actual scientific endeavor where they looked at the data and they did something. They didn't do anything. And they, I mean the group behind this entire fraud, the Alliance of World Scientists, this is their website, literally cost pennies on the dollar. It's the biggest embarrassment of any website, if this is the world stage and this is your website, come on. This is Oregon State Forestry Department's crappy website that sparked all of this. And it's all nonsense. Because out of the 11,000 scientists that are warning of untold suffering, less than half of them are even scientists. Here's the supplemental file, S1, that they've erased, and they've doctored already. They removed names like Mickey Mouse and others. A total of almost 40 names have been erased in the last 24 hours. But the list still is up, and it has less than 50% actual scientists. Half of them are students, half are retired people, and a lot of them are unaccredited in the field of climate 100%. They have no background in it. So 11,000 idiots signed something from the Oregon State Forestry Department and the world picked up on it and ran with it. Uh, every single person that put their name behind any, one, any single one of these headlines should be fired. They're not reporters. They're puppets. We've talked about this. Puppets. Puppeting uh, something that totes their line. There's no science in here. We're going to get to what the actual paper shows. But this is the list of the 11,000 people that are allowed to sign the petition. Any, anyone can sign it. Anyone can make up a name and a place and a university and sign it. Period. But let's listen to some of the facts coming from Rebel News. Uh, and one of the best Reports on this, except for mine, of course, from Ezra Levant, coming out just 24 hours ago. Let's just go over a few of the names. We won't cherry pick. And let's just talk about the 11,000 scientists warning about the end of the world and who they are. Let me quote. For his unwavering commitment to widening equitable access to education, his adaptations of multiple open textbooks and other OER production in developmental algebra and physics and for his selfless dedication to serving our most marginalized students we present Quantum Polytechnic's fine instructor Terry Berg with the BC Campus Award for Excellence in Open Education. So, he, so he's not a climate scientist, he's a teacher at a vocational school and he's a, such a good guy he makes free textbooks available to marginalized students. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it sounds really good. But he's not a climate scientist. I, I don't even think he's a scientist at all. 
actually. Okay, let's keep going down the list alphabetically. Here's David Boyd. Um, except he, he's, a, he's a lawyer. Does it get any lower? No, I, I'm just kidding. I used to be a lawyer too, but I'm, I'm sure he's nice. I'm sure he's a nice guy, um, but he's a lawyer. He's, he's, not a, he's not a scientist. Okay, let's keep going alphabetically. Here's George Burlesu on the list. Take a look at him. He seems like a solid guy. Uh, he works at a company that makes light bulbs. Uh, he's, he's not a scientist. Here's Peter Carter. Is he a climate scientist? Or a scientist at all? No, he is not. Peter is a retired doctor after nearly 40 years in practice as a family physician, first in England and then in Newfoundland and British Columbia, Canada. Like I say, he seems like a, like a, this is his, his blog here. Um, that's Peter down there. Looks, looks like a great family doctor. Seems like a caring man. He's retired now. He even set up this state-of-the-art website you're looking at to express his feelings about climate. Of course he signed the petition. He's not a scientist. Here's Vanessa Cateau. She's on the list, and she seems really smart. Look at this. She teaches physiology at the School of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Alberta. I like dentists, but they're not, they're not really scientists, and they're not climate scientists. That's just someone who clicked like on that website I showed you. Okay, let's keep going alphabetically. Here's Are you picking Antoine it up? Clark. Again, <laughs> seems like a great guy. He not a scientist. He works at a hospital for sick children. Knows nothing about climate. He signed the petition. Are you picking it up? We just put it down. Let's look at the facts they show on the report. These are the actual graphics from the paper, which is not a paper, by the way. It's um, an opinion. See this issue section? It's not in science. It's under viewpoint. That means editorial. This has nothing to do with bioscience. It has everything to defame Oxford academic as a a publication, 100%, but this has nothing to do with facts. This is a viewpoint, and it's a viewpoint from the Oregon Forestry Department, Oregon State's Forestry Department, which claims that they are part of the, they started the Alliance of World Scientists, the Forestry Department at Oregon State. Hello? And, and it gets world coverage because the world is going to be destroyed according to the forestry department at Oregon State. I wonder what the puppet department at Michigan State says. Here's the list. If you want to vet it yourself, there's 323 pages of non-climate scientists. Maybe like a few dozen in there. And the paper itself just puts up graphs, which mean nothing. They all either go straight up or straight down. It's like Michael Mann's um, dream here. And then this one goes up and down and up. This, what is this graph showing? Nothing. These graphs show nothing. This is to show graphs to a bunch of people that don't know anything that read these headlines and they say, Oh my God, it's a paper. There's a paper. Did you see? It's vetted peer reviewed. No, it isn't. No peer ever reviewed this. And the peers that signed it aren't even climate scientists. A couple of them are. But the broad majority are nobody. So if the world is burning up, according to every major media outlet, according to all the scientists that are not climate scientists, all the students that want to be climate scientists, and all the people that work in non-science and non-climate related fields. Those are your facts. Are you picking it up? We put it down. Mainstream media is a fraud. It's nothing more than a political piece for the six multinational corporations that own the venues. If you want real information, you need to do your own research. If you read the headlines, you're going to be fodder for the masses. Be safe. We love you.